Hello and welcome to another US Cutter video. The Gallery 1390R printer is a very easy to use printer with a no mess auto priming button and includes everything that you need to start printing right out of the gate making it a great option for people just wanting to get into the printable transfer industry. Because of this, our sales team is often asked about the business side of DTF printing. Things like materials cost per print, how much to charge, and how long should they expect it to take for them to see profit. And in today's video, we're going to answer some of these questions and offer suggestions on how you can make money with your gallery DTF printer. First and foremost, Let's talk about how to get an understanding of your materials cost per print. The Gallery DTF RIP software does include a cost calculator with it for no additional charge. Here you can input the cost values for each item used in the printing process for an exact cost excluding the DTF application powder. While this is helpful, you will not see this information until after you've completed the print. To help make quoting pricing before you print easier, you can always divide the price of the material by the length or amount. For example, if you purchase a 300 yard roll of DTF film for $150, your material cost per foot is 50 cents. It also doesn't hurt to pad this number a little bit to help cover any errors or wasted material that may come along the way. Next, we move over to the ink cost. However, with ink cost, it's a bit more complicated. On average, one milliliter of ink will cover one square foot of material. Your CMYK DTF inks are usually all the same price, but the white will always cost a little more. Let's say that your CMYK inks are $65 for a 500 milliliter bottle, and the white ink is $70 for a 500 milliliter bottle. Using the same formula before, but we're dividing the price by the volume. 65 divided by 500 is 0.13, making the CMYK inks cost around 13 cents per square foot. For the white inks, we just want to do 70 divided by 500, and that makes it 0.14, so the white ink will cost 14 cents per square foot. We have two white print heads and one print head for the cyan, one print head for the magenta, one print head for the yellow, and one print head for the black in the Gallery 1390R, bringing your total ink cost to 80 cents per square foot if we printed with every single color at the same time. Now everyone knows that you will never want to print this. It would just create a greenish brown square with a white backing that nobody would want on anything. But if you're going to quote a job using this type of formula to calculate your ink cost, it will help increase your profitability and will help cover costs for any mistakes or remakes. This is also another cost that you can add a little more onto to help cover the cost of ink loss from keeping the machine running and cleaning itself. Now, the next thing that you need to factor into the cost is the DTF powder. This one is a little harder to calculate because at most, you're only using a gram or so of DTF powder on each print. And this varies depending on the size and coverage of the print. As mentioned before, you can't add this cost to the Gallery DTF RIP price calculator, but most people will just add 10 to 15 cents on top of the cost per foot of the film to cover those costs. Then finally, you need to factor in the cost of the garment that you'll be using in as well as your labor. The garment price should be easy enough to add in, but knowing what to charge for your time and effort is harder to determine. Because the world is so vast, the best place to start looking at pricing is online and then for locally, you want to call around in your local area to get quotes and also to get a general idea of pricing. A general rule of thumb is that most places will offer discounts on larger orders and smaller individual orders is where you can expect to charge a higher price for the individual print. Don't be afraid to charge a fee for editing or making repairs to a customer's artwork. Your time and skills are valuable. You can also offer a much more personalized customer experience when compared to the big online services. A little customer service will go a long way. Now, how long can you expect it to take until you start turning a profit on your Gallery DTF printer? This answer really depends on the customer. For customers that have been in the transfer printing industry, it has taken as little as two months for them to get a return on their investment. For people just getting into the transfer business, it really depends on how much business you go out and get. If you already have a business built up with a customer base, it will be much easier and quicker to add this on to your existing business plan and get some of those customers on board so it can take a few months. 
But if you're just getting into the transfer printing business with no prior experience, no clientele, you're really going to need to hustle. Get on your local Facebook marketplace groups and share some of your best prints. Do you have any hobbies or TV shows that you're a fan of? Join these groups and every so often, just post a picture of your custom shirt that you made for yourself, celebrating whatever the group is about. If people like it, they'll see it and they'll ask you where you got it and you can just tell them in a DM. If your kids are doing anything sport related, you better make sure that all the other parents see that you are wearing a different custom shirt for each game. I guarantee you sales will follow if you do that. Aside from that, the best thing that you can do is get out and talk to people. Getting out there, getting to know people, letting them know what you do is going to be the best way to do it inside your local community. I hope that you found some of this information helpful in this video as you start your DTF printing journey. If you have any questions about any of the products shown in this video or anything shown on the US Cutter website, please contact us directly using the information shown here on your screen. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have yourself a wonderful day.